What's up guys, for those of you that are covetous of the airdrop feature on Apple devices but can't seem to pull yourself away from Android or PCs, I've got something kind of cool to show you. I stumbled across this application called AirDroid. Now, it's not available on the Apple App Store, but it is available on the Google Play Store. If you want to download it on a Mac or a PC, you have to go to airdroid.com and download the software here. The first thing you do when you get here is sign up. You need to put in your email, a username, and your password, just basic credentials. After you've signed up, you can click the download now and see that this is available across the Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac OS operating systems. Since I'm running a Mac, I would just click on the Mac, it would download, and I would run the installation software. Not going to do that because I already have it done. I'm now going to take you into the AirDroid app. I already have it made so that I can enter those credentials I set up and it'll automatically authenticate me. My phone just went off so it's connected to it as well. The home screen is just basic information and a lot of frequently asked questions. If you click on nearby you can find other AirDroid users that are currently active. You can also do this with friends. It works best if they're on the same wireless network, but you can do it remotely. You just have a 200 meg cap. You can also go premium, but it's $2 a month to do that. Might be worth it to some of you. Under my devices, this is my Galaxy Note 5. I can send large files from my phone to my computer or vice versa wirelessly. You can see I've sent a 1.8 gig here, a 1.2 here, and it works pretty well. There's not really any video um, problem or loss in quality that I've noticed, and it goes fairly fast, just as fast as AirDrop does. This way you can transfer things, you can also look up stuff, see notifications, and there is a way to text as well, which is kind of neat. There's call history and you can look at your contacts. So for example, where I have my Mac and my Note 5 connected, where I just send myself a text that went to myself, up here in the top right corner, it's going to bring up that message right there. If I hit reply, I can just respond back without ever opening my phone. And it sends the message. There you go. I'm now gonna take you inside the application on my phone and show you a little how it looks and functions. When you open it up, the home screen is exactly the way it looks on the computer. If you swipe to the right under my devices, you can see I'm connected to my computer here. If I click on it, I can send large files wirelessly from my phone, especially if I'm on the same wireless network. It goes really smooth. You can hit the paperclip for attachments, send apps, pictures, videos, music, or whatever other files on my phone I may want to send. Under nearby, you can search for the same people that may have AirDroid, just as on the computer, and you can also have friends. The phone app also has a tools area where you can record your screen and do a plethora of other things. As I said, you have a cap if you're doing remote connection, but most of the time I'm sharing on the same wireless network. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below. would love to have you back. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments.